Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to do some more mole conversions. Now in an earlier video, we learned how to do some basic mole conversions where we learned how to convert grams to moles and moles to grams and moles to atoms or molecules and atoms and molecules back to moles, etc, etc. But what if you're given some intermediate level mole conversions? Well, that's what we're going to do in this little video. We're just going to work several different problems. So before you watch mole conversions part two, I suggest that you watch mole conversions part one to start off with some of the basics. So let's take a look at this very first example right here. It says, what is the mass in milligrams of 7.2 times 10 to the 24th molecules of carbon monoxide. So we want to know the mass in milligrams of this many molecules of carbon monoxide. So how are we going to do this? Well, if you take a look right here, this should help you out. This Let this serve as a guide to help you solve these types of problems. So if you take a look, we are given the number of molecules. We are given the number of molecules of carbon monoxide there are, and we want to figure out how many milligrams or the mass in milligrams this is. So if you take a look here, first thing we're going to have to do is divide by Avogadro's number to figure out the number of moles and then we're going to have to multiply by the molar mass of carbon monoxide to figure out the number of grams and last but not least we are then going to have to convert the grams to milligrams by multiplying by a thousand so how are we going to set this problem up well in this problem the starting information is 7.2 times 10 to the 24th molecules of carbon monoxide Oops, carbon monoxide sorry and what we want to do first is we want to first convert this to moles in this step right here and then we want to convert this to grams in this step right here and then lastly in this step right here we want to convert this to milligrams so this is going to be a, a three-step process here before we can get our final answer so we have 7.2 times 10 to the 24th molecules of carbon monoxide and the very first thing we're going to want to do is convert this to moles of carbon monoxide so how do we do that well we know that one mole of carbon monoxide contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of carbon monoxide right the word mole means this many 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd so that will bring us to here but we don't want to be here we want to figure out how many grams this is next so we have to multiply by the molar mass of carbon monoxide and if we take a look at a periodic table of elements we will see that the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 and the molar mass of oxygen is 16.00 and if we add these together we will get 28.01 alright so we know that one mole of carbon monoxide is equal to 28.01 grams of carbon monoxide so that's our second step lastly the question here is asking for the mass of this many molecules of carbon monoxide in milligrams so we're at grams right now so we have to carry this one step further here right so we have to multiply by a thousand we know that there are uh, 1000 grams I'm sorry there are 1000 milligrams in one little gram so there's a thousand of these in one of these and now if we take a look we have molecules of carbon monoxide on top that will cancel out with molecules of carbon monoxide on the bottom we have moles of CO and moles of CO on top and bottom they'll cancel out we have grams of CO on top grams of CO on bottom these guys will cancel out and are leaving us with our answer in milligrams of carbon monoxide so now we just take our calculator out and we'll take 7.2 times 10 to the 24th divided by Avogadro's number multiply by 28.01 and then multiply by a thousand and we will end up with 335,003 milligrams 335,003 whoops and three milligrams of carbon monoxide and we can put this in scientific notation and use the correct number of sig figs here 3.3 uh, 3, actually it looks like it's going to be 3.4 times 10 to the fifth milligrams of carbon monoxide as our final answer here. So, 
if we have this many molecules of carbon monoxide, they're going to have a mass of 3.4 times 10 to the fifth milligrams. Let's take a look at another problem. All right, in this problem here, it says how many moles of water are there in 52.5 kilograms? So if you read this question correctly, it says how many moles, we want to know the number of moles when you have 52.5 kilograms of water. So if you take a look at this little diagram here, we know the mass of this water is 52.5 kilograms. And what we want to do is we want to figure out how many moles this is. So we can see that this is going to be uh, a one two-step problem here. So the first thing we do is convert kilograms to grams, and then we convert those grams to moles. So we have 52.5 kilograms of H2O. And the first thing that we're going to have to do here is we are going to have to convert the kilograms to grams in this first step. And then in our second step, we will then convert these grams to moles. So this is a two-step problem. So we know that there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. The prefix kilo means 1,000, right? So we know there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. And you might, might be wondering why the grams goes on top and the kilograms goes on the bottom here. It's so that this will cancel out, so that these units will cancel out, right? We'll just go ahead and add H2O here. All right, so next step we're going to do here is we're going to convert these grams, the 100 grams, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the grams of H2O here to moles of H2O. And the way that we do that is by dividing by the molar mass of water. We know if we look on the periodic table that the molar mass of oxygen is 16.00. And we know that the molar mass of hydrogen, if we look at a periodic table, is 1.01. .01. All right, so if we take 2 times 1.01 .01 and add 16 to that, we're going to get 18.02 is our molar mass, right? We know that one mole of H2O is 18.02 grams of H2O. Okay, so if we take a look, we have grams of H2O on top, grams of H2O on bottom. And so now we just plug this into our calculator. We're going to take 52.5 times a thousand and then divided by 18.02 and it looks like we're going to end up with 2913 moles of h2o and if we want to put this in uh, scientific notation making sure that we use the correct number of significant figures which is three sig figs we will just put 2.91 times 10 to the third moles of h2o So this here should be our correct answer. So if we have this mass of water, that is the same thing as 2.91 times 10 to the third moles of H2O. Let's take a look at another example. In this problem here, it says, what is the mass in milligrams? So what is the mass in milligrams of this many moles of NaCl? So we know that we have 3.2 moles of this stuff right here, of NaCl, and we want to figure out its mass in milligrams. So first step will be to do this right here. We're going to multiply by the molar mass and then we're going to go ahead and multiply by a thousand in the second step to convert it to milligrams. So in this problem we have 3.2 moles of NaCl and the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to convert these moles to grams, right? We know that the molar mass of Na is 22.99 if we look on our periodic table and we know chlorine is 35.45 if we take a look at our periodic table of elements. And if we add these together, we will end up with a molar mass of 58.44, right? And it says we're multiplying by 58.44, so we'll put that at the top. We know that there are 58.44 grams of NaCl for every mole of NaCl. So that's our first step, right? And now in our second step, we need to convert these grams to milligrams. So we know that there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram, okay? So if we take a look here, moles of NaCl on top, moles of NaCl on bottom, we have grams right here, we have grams right here. We should just go ahead and finish this unit off, NaCl. NaCl. So these now will cancel. And so we get our calculator our calculator out now. We take 3.2 times 
times 58.44 times 1,000. And we're going to end up with 187,008. milligrams of NaCl. And if we wanted to use the correct number of significant figures, we can go ahead and convert this to scientific notation, and this will be 1.9 times 10 to the fifth milligrams of NaCl. Okay, so if you have this many moles of NaCl, it's going to have a mass of 1.9 times 10 to the fifth milligrams. Let's take a look at another one. Okay, in this example here, it says how many carbon atoms are in 255 grams of glucose? So this is a tricky problem here. This is a, a tricky problem that requires one extra step. So in this problem here, we have 255 grams of glucose, C6H12O6. And what we want to know is we want to know if we have this many grams of glucose, then how many carbon atoms are in that many grams of glucose? So we want to know specifically the number of carbon atoms there will be if you have 255 grams of this molecule here called glucose. So we know the number of grams, and what we want to do is we want to convert this to moles. We want to figure out how many molecules this is, and then once we have this information, we can look at a molecule and see that one molecule of glucose has six carbon atoms. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the dimensional analysis for this problem here, and hopefully you catch on. So if we take a look here, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to convert the grams to moles by dividing by the molar mass of glucose. So the molar mass of glucose, if we take a look, we have six times the molar mass of carbon which is 12.01 we have 12 times the molar mass of hydrogen if you look on a periodic table it's 1.01 .01. and we have six times the molar mass of oxygen which is 16 if you take a look on the periodic table and that will give us a grand total of 180.18 now if you're wondering where i got 180.18 I suggest that you take a look at my video where we, where we learn how to calculate the molar masses of different molecules. So, we know that one mole of glucose is going to have a mass of 180.18 grams, right? So, we just converted the, the grams to moles here by dividing by the molar mass of glucose, which is 180.18. Next thing we have to do is figure out how many molecules this is by multiplying by Avogadro's number, right? We know that one mole of glucose contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Okay? And so this now will allow us to figure out the number of molecules, but we want to know how many atoms there are in one molecule. So if we take a look at a molecule of glucose, we can see that there's six carbon atoms in one molecule of glucose. So we'll have to do one additional step here. We know that there are six atoms of carbon in one molecule of glucose, C6H12O6. And we should probably put that right here, C6H12O6 as the unit here. And if we take a look now, grams of glucose on top are going to cancel out with the grams of glucose that are on the bottom here. Gram, uh, moles of glucose on top cancels out with the moles of glucose on the bottom. We have molecules of glucose on top canceling out with the molecules of glucose on bottom, leaving us with what unit left over? Atoms of carbon. And that's what we were trying to find, how many atoms of carbon there are. So we get our calculator out, and we'll take 255, 255, divided by 180.18, times Avogadro's number, times 6. And we will end up with 5.1 actually 5.11 if we use the correct number of sig figs times 10 to the 24th 5.11 times 10 to the 24th atoms 
of carbon. Okay, so if you have this many grams of glucose, it's going to contain this many atoms of carbon. Let's take a look at another example. All right, in this last example here, it says, what is the mass in kilograms of 8.25 moles of carbon dioxide? So you have 8.25 moles of carbon dioxide, and we want to know the mass in kilograms. So first thing that we're going to have to do is convert it to grams in this step here. And once we're done converting the, uh, the moles to grams in this step here, we're going to have to then convert it to kilograms, and that will give us our final answer, right? So we know that one mole of carbon dioxide is going to have a mass of, well, if we take a look here, the molar mass of carbon is 12.01. If you look on your periodic table, and this is 16.00. So if we do the math correctly, we'll take 2 times 16, which is 32, and add 12.01 to it for a grand total of 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide. All right, so if we take a look, moles of CO and moles of CO2, moles of CO2 here and moles of CO2 here will cancel out, leaving us with grams of CO2, but we don't want grams of CO2. We want to figure out how many kilograms this is. So we have to divide by 1,000 now, right? We know there are 1,000 grams of carbon dioxide in one kilogram of carbon dioxide. Okay, so that's how we're going to set this one up. Grams of CO2 on top and bottom will cancel out. And so now we just take our calculator out and we take 8.25 times 44.01, since 44.01 is on the top. And then we're going to divide that by 1,000 since a thousand is on the bottom here and we'll end up with 0 0.363 kilograms of carbon dioxide okay so what do you guys think pretty easy stuff huh if you like what you see go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that will subscribe you to my channel and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section down below and I hope you guys found this helpful.